Wondering what are the career opportunities after your post graduation? Then keep watching this video and we'll answer to all your what's and how's. You often ask yourselves a ton of questions like what should I do after completing BSc or BTech in biotechnology? Or what are the job opportunities after doing MSc or MTech in biotechnology? What are some career options after completing studies in biotechnology? Or what salary should I expect after doing an MSc in biotechnology? Is doing MBA or PhD after BTech biotechnology a good option? Or what exam to be given for PhD after BTech in biotechnology? Or what is the future of biotechnology in India? And how can I get a good job in biotechnology in the US? And lots more. But before we answer them, have you ever thought that is learning equal to earning? If you ask yourself that what should you do after completing BTech in biotechnology or life sciences, there are two ways to proceed. That is, to continue with BTech and try for research field, or study MBA marketing and try for marketing in biotech products. The next question is, what are the job opportunities after BTech in biotechnology? Now, you have a lot of options to proceed with. You can do research jobs in R&D jobs in companies and R&D jobs in government labs, academic jobs in private as well as government colleges and universities. You can also do quality assistance or quality checking jobs or clinical research jobs, production jobs in pharma industry, PhD studentship or fellowships followed by a job. What salary should I expect after doing an MSc or BTech in biotechnology? It starts at around Rs 20,000 per month and can go up to Rs 50,000 depending on your talent and opportunities existent in your company. Many people also ask this, that is doing an MBA or PhD after MSc or BTech biotechnology a good option? MBA is basically equivalent to exiting the research industry and PhD means to go for deep diving into the pharma or biotech or FMCG sector. If you're finding it difficult to choose one between MBA and PhD, ask yourself what you enjoy, selling or managing or in innovating. In terms of career growth, both have equal growth opportunities. And in terms of salary growth, at times a PhD can end up earning more than an MBA. If you're wondering that which exam is to be given for PhD after MSc or BTech Biotechnology, the exams are CSIR NET or GATE or DBT-BET or ICMR. And in fact, there are 18 such different exams conducted by various organizations across India. If you ask what is the future of biotechnology in India, then the future will be only for those who are and will be ready for it. For example, can an illiterate open a high-end laptop? Same way, can a software developer work on HPLC? Right from food, pharma, agriculture, waste management, pollution control, biomedical, nanomedical, everywhere life sciences grads will be needed. If you're willing to get a job in the USA, you should have work visa and preferably a PhD from US. Given the current geopolitical scenario, it can be difficult to work or do a PhD from USA. And if you're wondering, that how can I start my own biotech company? Then anything you want to do should ideally start after you have completed your PhD. That way, you will have a better understanding of the dynamics of industry. Your deeper understanding will help you develop better products for the industry. So what do you need now? It is just patience and faith. And that will help you go ahead in life. If in case you are planning to write CSIR, NET or GATE, or any such entrance exam for PhD, get in touch with our academic team and they will be very handy in providing the help. Call our toll free numbers to talk to a counsellor who can guide you for a PhD via CSIR, NET or GATE or DBT exams. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel Biotechnica because we help you make the future bright. Also feel free to post your comments right below.